Tyler, congratulations on being a graduate student of distinction. Oh, thank you so much, Dr. Davies. It was, uh, it's, a, and it's a big honor. Uh, thank you for, uh, I guess, making me one if that's, if it comes from the top. <laughs> Well, you earned it. So let me just um, ask you to tell us, tell our viewers a bit about, you know, the program you're in and um, how uh, it's preparing for your future career goals. Absolutely. So I'm a member of the Molecular Genetics and Cell Biology program. And uh, that PhD program, it's a pretty big PhD program. I think it might be one of the largest. It's got a huge uh, student body or student cohort. Um, but more importantly, I th think it's got a really great internal fellowship writing workshop, um, which played a huge role in how I write. Um, and I think that that uh, specifically helps prepare me for all of my careers. Uh, it's a huge translatable, transferable skill. So um, it's a great part of the program. It's also got a, you know, not, not something I've partaken particularly, but it's got a teaching track that's unique to the program. And I know a lot of my, my peers really enjoy that aspect of the program. Well, thank you, Tyler. You know, you've accomplished so much in your time here at UNMC. Um, and, you know, we, we're honoring you primarily for your, uh, the F award that you got from the NIH, the NRSA award, which is the, um, the National Research Service Award from the um, National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute that you got. But, you know, I, I want you to talk about that in a minute. But before we go there, you also had a couple of very interesting national awards that you won. Uh, one was uh, for the Science Coalition's Funded Forward Student Video Challenge. And then the other one was the Research America's Flash Talks Competition. So tell us a bit about those two competitions and how you ended up getting involved in those. And, winning two, two different national awards. That's very impressive. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I think the, the first of those awards was the Science Coalition's Funded Forward Student Video Challenge. And that was on a whim. Um, a colleague and a really good friend of mine, Sumit Carr, is a fellow graduate student in my lab who graduated recently. So actually, I guess it's Dr. Sumit Carr now. He came to me, he's a great um, he's a videographer, cinematographer, and um, saw that this uh, challenge has been posted and he knew that I had a passion for science communication and he had a passion for film. And we took those skills and we combined them and we entered that competition and ended up placing first. Um, and from there, I think it kind of ignited my passion for science communication um, even further where I went on uh, I was recognized by Research America, which was another science advocacy organization. Um, and I, I entered, uh, or I, I think they asked me and they invited me to be part of their first annual flash talks competition. So I ended up summarizing my, my thesis in, in under five minutes to a general audience, which uh, I think I might have underestimated the difficulty in doing at first. Um, but it's so, I think, critically important to be able to do that especially in today's day and age, when there's a, a large gap in the everyday person who's walking around and they don't seem, you know, they don't need to care. You don't need to care um, what's going on at the bench and the bench scientist who is obsessing over their science, rightfully so, to be able to go outside and walk onto the street and just talk to someone about what they're doing because you know you look out the window and the street's right there and that person's right there and you need to be able to go out there and talk to them. And I've always firmly believed that. And that flash talks competition, I think, cemented the importance of being able to do that. And it was um, that sort of path, that trajectory of those two competitions, I think, that. Led in, I think, led into one another, but I'll stop there before I keep kind of going down that rabbit hole. Well, that's really great. You know, uh, science literacy is something that um, is lacking in a lot of our uh, schools right now. And I think being able to communicate effectively what you're doing in the lab is, is a skill. Not every, not all researchers have that skill. And uh, in order to really help the public understand what we're doing and all the federal funds we get, I think having that skill is going to come come invaluable no matter what you end up doing in your career, which we're going to talk about in a couple of minutes. 
So tell me about your NIH F31 award. Tell me what it's about, how you ended up applying for that and um, what, what you see at opportunities to see that opening for you. Um, absolutely. So uh, my F31 focuses on uh, it's diabetic cardiomyopathy is particularly is the disease that I study. Um, and in particular, uh, we're looking at microRNA as the therapeutic molecule of choice um, and mitochondria and mitochondrial regulation in the diabetic heart. Um, and I don't want to get too in the weeds as to the science of it. I, I really appreciate you know, what UNMC has done in providing me the opportunity through not just the internal fellowship writing workshop that I, I mentioned with my program, but also I think the physiology department offers a really outstanding um, external fellowship writing workshop that provided me the inspiration to apply um, for the F31 particularly. Um, and I just kind of want to mention that um, in, a, in addition to sort of like the, the outside inspiration of, you know, what I'm going through and, and, you know, what I'm being impacted by, you know, just with my life and everything like that, it's sort of like the, the internal, you know, motivations being provided by UNMC. What would you say has been your most memorable moment at UN, here at UNMC? Um, the, the, the filming of the, that video competition that was previously mentioned, the actual filming of it and like going around with uh, Sumit and uh, just finding the spots to film. A lot of it was on the fly and, and you know, thinking like, uh, you know, we, like we opened up the minus 80 fridge and like threw some dry ice on the ground and got some fog to set like the scene. And, it, you know, it felt like we were, you know, filming some like science fiction film it you know nothing like it you know it didn't feel like science it felt like we were pursuing some other career option just for you know a short second but we were using all of the tools that we had been using for the last two years it's a really cool merging of the two fields i guess for just a weekend you know tyler i'm sure you're going to be very successful based on what you've done so far we're very proud of you. We know that um, you have not just learned things in the lab, you have a very well-rounded experience here and those translatable skills that you've developed here, all those uh, transferable skills, uh, professional skills as we call them, are gonna stand you in really, really good stead no matter what you do. So congratulations and um, we'll see you uh, hopefully before the convocation ceremony in December, but between now and then have a great rest of the year. Thank you so much, Dr. Davies.